Hello and welcome to today's video which is more of a tutorial on how the alpha testnet looks like for BitCountry. Now unfortunately I don't have a land yet so I'm gonna need to bid for one but it looks like I'm gonna need to wait about a day before I can actually get a chance to bid for land and so I don't know how I'm gonna get it but I'm just gonna basically show you how it actually looks as in the dashboard because we do have access to the dashboard even if we don't have land unfortunately. And so let's take a look and see how it's like. So first of all, you need to go to testnet.bit.country. Okay, I'm going to post a link of that in the description of this video for you to also click on it uh, in case you want to get some, uh, some land. And uh, the next thing that you need to do is you need to join their Discord channel. Again, I'm going to post a link to the Discord channel in the description of this video. Go join it. Once you're in there, there's a faucet channel. You need to join that faucet channel and you need to execute the command uh, exclamation mark drip space and then your public address for BitCountry Pioneer. Okay, you can get that address by simply going uh, connecting to your uh, wallet here. As you can see, I can see my wallet here, which I'm using the test statement wallet. And this is my public address here. You copy this and you paste that in the Discord channel for the bar to send you some near tokens. Now, once you have near tokens, you need to generate bit tokens because if you've been watching this channel for quite some time, you already know that you need bit tokens to get anything within the BitCountry metaverse, okay, be it BitCountry Pioneer on Kusama or BitCountry Continuum uh, on uh, Polkadot, which is going to come later. And so here we can see some stats on the home page. You could see the activities. You can create a metaverse project, create a bunker, create the NFT, material campaign, etc. I'm going to try and create a metaverse project to see if that works out. But first things first, we need to generate some bit. So I'm going to need to uh, get that uh, near staked. And so let's take a look at the different sections here. If you go to the material campaign, here you can see the number of uh, bit in the current round. And the uh, bit is required for metaverse development and utility NFT crafting, as you can see here. Uh, there's a staking button here, as you can see. So we're gonna click on that. And uh, here there's an option to stake or unstake near. I've got zero near staked, so I'm gonna need to stake some. So let's click on stake. I've got 200 near at the moment because you can claim two times per day from the bar okay these are test net near not real value near okay just to make that clear so i'm going to stake uh, let me stake actually 195 i'm going to keep some just to have them uh, and here you need to hit submit and actually you can see your total balance here okay so let's hit submit now i need to sign the transaction let me sign that quickly okay that's uh, submitted now Okay, so as you can see, I've successfully staked 195 near. Uh, that's how it looks. This is the total network stake, the network bid allocation for staking as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, if we click on this total, it says your rank in bid reward campaign is disabled. Stake now to enable. Uh, I've already staked. And so, yeah, I still didn't get any near yet or any bit yet. So I need to see uh, if I'm going to get them. Maybe it takes a while because it does say here a uh, no claimable reward. Uh, and so let's go to the next step here, which is the NFT search. Uh, here you can see all the different NFTs. Uh, so there's an estate here that you can buy for 400 near, another one for 201 near, which has been auctioned. Let's see here, 200 near, 155 near. So what happens if I go on this here? Okay, I can bid for it, which says the listing expires in two days and 17 hours. And so I always need to bid by the looks of it. I cannot just buy it myself. Uh, but let's go back to the main page. Let's see if we can go back here. There we go. Craft NFT. Okay, so here you can craft the different NFTs that your uh, character can wear. You can even get a cool hat here. Bit balance, bit cost. Okay, so it does tell you the cost here and then you can mint a new object now because I don't have any bit, I obviously can't. Uh, the total supply is 100 for this. There are 85 available. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of them available, I believe, at the beginning. Buy land block. So here to buy it, you need to bid. 
there's governance as well as you can see here there are no proposals at the moment there's my wallet where you can see i've got 200 near it should tell me 195 is reserved yeah five transferable uh, not no bit whatsoever yet because we're still waiting for that to generate uh, but let's go to the pioneer map so this is the map here as you can see if you click on any of these blocks it tells you there are 10 estates with two owners uh, you can go to metaverse marketplace spot auction history purchased for 100 near on the spot auction okay so that's how that looks okay so that's pretty cool as you can see each one has a different background the kingdom of all coders is the code kingdom and if you click on this one sayama hills as well purchased for 1002 near and you can see all the different bids here let's go to metaverse i should be able to like even if i don't have a land i should be able to walk around so let's see if we can walk around here and the controls that we need to use and this is the first time i'm doing this by the way and it's the first time i'm doing it while i'm recording as well so just to make that clear i haven't done it before so apologies if i if it seems weird so low quality medium quality high quality i guess it depends on your computer so my computer is not a gaming laptop so i'm just going to go with medium quality apply changes let's see how it looks okay so that's done keep changes close out of this so to walk it's the w and then d for left s and a okay so it's pretty standard here the shift is for run escape is to exit and the previous block is q and e okay thank you for that let's see okay so i'm pressing it now okay and with the mouse you can move left and right as in with the camera uh, why can't I jump here? Because I would have liked to do that. I mean, the view is pretty cool here. But it looks like it's lagging a little bit. So I should have probably changed to the low quality. Because the lag is pretty big here. I don't know if it's just taking a while for it to load maybe. Let me see if I can change that. Uh, how do I change that exit? Let's click on this here. Graphics, low quality. Keep changes. Okay, looks like this is much better now. Much, much better now. Okay, so with the space bar you jump. And now let's go. Now this section looks a bit like Minecraft. Uh, let's go here. Now remember, I cannot build anything because I don't have any bit. These are likely buildings by someone else. People have tested out building blocks and stuff here. Let's see if we can jump on that there whoa let's see what's here is that just a void yeah it's just a void um, what's that over there let's see it's some sort of item or is it a flower yeah just a flower or a plant can you pick up the plants No, you can't. They just exist there, but they're static. That's something you can pick up. Okay, that's cool. Let's go back here and see what other settings do we have. The build menu, you aren't in build mode. It must be within your own land or permission land to activate build mode. Okay, so we cannot use build mode because I don't have land. Objects, tools. Uh, this is just the graphic area here which we looked at earlier uh, so yeah we cannot activate build mode unfortunately it even tells you not permission to modify this land okay okay i get it let me close out of this uh, let me see shift is for running and as you can see on the uh, let me jump here as you can see 
on the map on the top left hand corner there you could see that's likely the unit the square that you see there so now that i'm i cannot get out of it oh i can get out of it okay so i'm in the void now wow that's pretty cool that's so sick wow so within the void you could likely get some land as well look at this like that's like mushroom topia or something okay so now i can jump from one I can jump from the void into the land again. Let's see if I can. It's not letting me. Okay, there we go. There we go. This is pretty cool here. Is there anything we can do here? No. And look, there's a balloon there as well. Let me go back to the void. And all these boxes here as well apparently that's how it's going to look when you're going to be able to when you're going to stake near for bit their idea is to to create this functionality within the metaverse itself so you'll be going in the metaverse and you'll probably have to click certain stuff certain boxes you're going to have like a vault uh, and there you're going to be able to stake your near for bit this void is huge as well let me see if i can let me see if I so when you when you hit the escape on your keyboard you can then get control of your mouse again and you can see all the different blocks here and where you are and so you can even maximize this by the looks of it uh, and these are all the different maps here that are available the void is huge but as you can see people can actually build stuff in the void because there are all these blocks as well And so, yeah, this is how it looks here. And so, yeah, this is how it looks. Uh, let me go back here and see if I can exit out of this. Uh, let's go to exit. Let's go back to this page. Uh, and let's go back to, uh, where do we go here? Pioneer map, material campaign, staking, no claimable reward. Okay, so it looks like it takes a while for me to be able to get some bid tokens. And so until we're going to get something here, I'm not going to have any bid tokens. Uh, but again, I don't actually have a land, so I'm going to need to bid for it anyway. And we need to, it looks like we need to wait some time to be able to get a land. Uh, it's one day and 13 hours before the uh, bid ends for this one here which means i'm not gonna have enough near unfortunately because i can only claim 100 near uh, two times per day so that's uh, 200 near per day and it's not enough i'm not gonna have 2200 unfortunately but i could bid for something lower perhaps and just keep on bidding every day until i get some land to build on there may be another way that i'm just not aware of but uh, this is how it looks at the moment to me I'm going to chat with someone from the team to see if uh, maybe I could get some more near and uh, build my own land and then I'll likely do another tutorial once I have my own land uh, just to show you how you can build stuff. But yeah, uh, hopefully you got a general understanding, general overview of how it looks like and how it works. This is what we can expect in mainnet with likely some advanced functionalities. Uh, this is likely done mostly for alpha testnet just to get people to try it out and see what it looks like. So great job by the team. It looks cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing really, really cool lands in this. Thank you for watching. Drop me a comment below telling me what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.